What's up and welcome to 4th Dimensional Gaming. I'm Omnipotent Dog and today I am playing Mafia 2. Now, when we left off last time, um, what just happened? Well, uh, uh, we found out that we were in a bit of trouble with some, uh, some loan sharks. Yeah. Um, and now... We Sorry! I'm a Shut up! I'm a great driver. What are you talking about? Um, so yeah, I actually, I actually kind of forgot what we're doing at the moment. I'm just gonna wait here till you come to your senses. Just gonna wait here. All right. One day later. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. It's a 42 Jefferson, whatever that is. Lockpicks. Let's do this then. A thief's paradise. You name it, he's got. A thief's paradise. So he's a dentist, is that what you're saying? Yes, sir, all the way. This is Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker in Empire Retired, Bay. please. How are you? The papers for you. Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? What, me? Fuck off, I'm not paying. Seven dollars, that's a lot. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. There we go. Man, imagine if actual lock picking was this easy. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Wouldn't it be easier just to remember your keys? There we go. What? Seriously? Seriously? To be fair, I probably should have checked before I actually picked the lock. He just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Damn policemen. Appearing out of nowhere. Look how many policemen there are! Um, sorry. I'm not a maniac. What are you talking about? Here we go. Well, that was easy. They just gave up. Oh, whatever. Whoa! I'm sure they didn't need that fire hydrant. What? Oh, come on. More police. Oh. I bought this car. What are you talking about? Come on. Such relaxing music. Hey, it's my car. And another one. Damn, there are a lot of these cars in, in this city. It's a very popular car. Okay, I may have damaged this car slightly. Nothing to worry about, though. Look, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Whoops! Sorry! What?! Oh, come on! Fucking police, man. They ruin everything. You are wanted by the police. Change your clothes. Yeah, because if I wear different clothes, they'll, they'll never realize me. Master of disguise. Well, it looks like him, but he's wearing different clothes. Steady, steady. Ooh. Close one. I'm not a maniac. I'm just... I'm not a good driver, alright? This is my first driving lesson, okay? Now, I may not be going as well as everyone does in their first driving lesson, but you got to give me a chance, you know. Screw you! Using a gun? Really? You're using a gun? That's just not fair. That's not fair. Come on. Oh, what? You have been killed. Well, thank you. Thanks for the clarification there. Okay. This time, let's not attract the cops' attention. There we go. Lock picking master right here. You never saw anything. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. This is this is just a very big car-shaped clump of snow. Okay, steady. Don't crash. Don't kill people. That's a bad thing. Don't kill people. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. We found him. 
Six foot tall, average size. This has got to be him. Oh, what? I'm carjacking here. Can't you see I'm carjacking? Oh, can't do anything in this town, can you? And Bosch. There we go. Okay. How did the policeman even see us? He was hiding behind the thing. Oh, he must have been. Must have been waiting to arrest us. Ah, uh, there seems to be a sign stuck to my car. Oh, there we go. There we go. Change the plates. Ah. With different number plates, they'll never know it was us. <laughs> now, what can we make it? Um, fourth DG for fourth dimensional gaming. I'm trying to. I'm trying to turn here. <laughs> That's terrible. That's almost as bad as, um... Are you a terrorist? Because, baby, you're the bomb. Jeez, even my puns aren't as bad as your fucking pickup lines. Whoa! Sorry. That wasn't entirely my fault. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take most of, of the blame for that one. Who's hey, here? Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, me and Vito go way back. He just what is he, a hypochondriac? He needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars. Nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning course. Jeez. Whoa, hello. And who knows if they can even get this filth out. shut up. Vito, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Uh, Vito, come on, let's go, Andiamo. Wow, he's pretty good at, uh, pretty good at negotiating. Change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, man. Got it. Don't fuck it up. Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Knock myself out. What, by using the gun? Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Ah, so beautiful though. Whoa! Can I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shoot. Get in the car, come on. Wait, where are we going? I'm just gonna follow the waypoint. This is a pretty good car. 1940s, and we already have GPS. Nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Money can buy happiness. Whoa! Sorry, I kind of, uh, kind of fucked up your car completely. Hey, what the hell? Watch out, you dick! Hey, hey. Get out. This is my car now. Just <laughs> throw him to the ground. Wow. I don't have a heart, sorry. I'm just creating the most... the most horrific crashes. Shut up! I drive excellent. Whoa! 
Whew. Whoa, hello. How's it going? The music being played on the radio completely complements the uh, the tone of the game. Oh, I'm a bit sad, really, that I didn't get to keep that other car. And I had a personalized number plate. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Break a window. Deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm getting deja vu. This this is almost exactly like the start of the game. Something very bad is going to happen right now. This life isn't for me. I just want to play in the snow. All right, here we go. Whoa. Am I a gymnast or something? Uh-oh. This isn't good. Hey! Hey, what you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never trust a man in a beret. That's what I say. Come on! What is... Are those jeans bulletproof or something? Dude, I'm right here. Seriously? So stupid. Such a stupid dude. Oh, sorry. Rest it off. I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, where's the other guy? There he is. You fool. You thought you could win? You cannot defeat the master lockpick gymnast. There we go. Easy. I could lockpick with my bloody eyes closed, I could. Oh, sh where the fuck did they... They, didn't, they just decided to rock up now, did they? They were just... As soon as he gets in the car, let's run. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Alright. Space. Do gymnastics. Oh, shit. You weren't there before. I swear he wasn't there before. Okay. Run. Just run. Ignore the fight. <laughs> Just slowly back away. Okay, go. Run. Hey! Hey, what you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. Whoop! Okay, shit. Uh, bang, 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 bang. Take him out. Now he's Raspberry Jam. And you're Raspberry Jam. And now you're Raspberry Jam. There we go. Hop in the car, listen to the baby crying. Ignore the baby crying. Start driving. People miraculously... Whoop, I didn't mean to honk the horn. Hey! Hey! Over here, motherfucker! Ah. Oh, shit! Oh, another one. Where are they? These people are very prepared. They're damn prepared. Oh, and the police. Oh, so now the police turn to fucking show up. You're totaling my car here. I paid good money for this. Not. I think we shook them. We shook them harder than a vanilla milkshake. <laughs> Stop. No, nope, I'm not going to. Pretty sure this uh, this song's from uh, well not from but I'm pretty sure this song is in Fallout. I think Fall Fallout F Fallout. I know they said Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas. I think most of the songs from the 30s have a similar kind of sound to them. So I do love this kind of music though. Fallout is just ev all, all the songs in Fallout are this kind of music. So when I when I play this game, I'm I'm reminded of Fallout. Fallout 3 especially, but New Vegas as well. Because I never finished New Vegas. Well, the cops are actually better in this than they are in uh, GTA 4. In G GTA 4, they don't care uh, unless you actually crash into them. You can, you can crash into as many other people's cars if you want, but if you do so much as even scrape into a police car, they're like, Alright! We've got him! We're in pursuit! Hey, hey! Mission accomplished! How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Uh, probably the yeah, there was that little hiccup. But apart from that, <laughs> it was absolutely fine. Don't worry about them. I just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <laughs> well, that's a huge generalization. Mm, nice. No stains. Clean. The lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Never mind the uh, the damage I've made to it. <laughs> oh, I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. 
Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut. 300 bananas? Next time, you're right. I have never heard a person That's refer to money as bananas before. Is that even a thing? Right, Here's your 300 apples. Yep, come on, take... Uh, that'll be uh, 250 uh, peaches. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just using random words now. Um, I'm just going to steal the car which I gave to you. Um, oh, I can't steal it. Well, that sucks. Where do I have to go? Where's Joe's car? We're just going to have to trek all the way back. Stop, car! I must drive you immediately. Get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, it's my old war buddy. How's it going? Um, I'm stealing your car. Sorry. Hope we can stay friends. How's your wife? She doing well? Oh, shit, sorry. Alright, see you later, mate. Well, that's what I was about to do. Hmm, he, he's, he's turning into the highway. I better tell him to take the highway. Let's just fix the engine. In the middle of the highway, you know, it's not very, not dangerous, not dangerous at all. Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. That Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I've met since you shipped out. You'll see. Will I now? You know, I don't really want to meet those people, to be honest. I don't, I don't want to be punched in the face till I'm blind, you know? It's not, not exactly on my bucket list. Boopy dappy boo bow. Cool down now. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't know the lyrics. Let's just grab another car that's exactly like the, that car except blue. Just very inconspicuous here. Just, just, ca just doing a bit of carjacking. Nothing to see here. Gotta love jazz. Bit of jazz in the morning. Park your car in the garage. Now that I can do. Simple. Whoop! Shit. There we go. See? Honk your horn and you park your car in the garage. Makes total sense. Do, do, do. Up the stairs. Ah. You're hungry. There's some food in the refrigerator. Nice. You're hungry, Vito. Take whatever you want from the fridge. Just a, just a bra on the bed. Wow. This guy's one serious man whore. Some garlic. Hmm, what do I want? That sandwich looks pretty delicious, actually. Cold beer, cola, ham and cheese. Oh, a bit of the classic ham and cheese. Oh, yeah. Jesus, he ate that quickly. We're fucking hungry. Here's the esophagus of a of a giant. Um, crash on the kitchen couch to get some sleep. 200 Allied aircraft were destroyed, and another 150 were damaged before Allied fighter pilots took to the skies to exact swift retribution. When the smoke cleared, bit of the radio. Wow, this is this is my bed. Fucking really? You have a nice couch right here, but no, I have to sleep in the kitchen because you know when you have a friend round, you give them the kitchen as a spare room. Chapter three. Enemy of the states. Joe's Apartment. That is a great film. Joe's Apartment. Oh my god, that's amazing. Joe's Apartment. If you haven't seen Joe's Apartment, it, it's it's a brilliant film. It's actually not. It's a terrible film. Well, I think I'm going to have to leave it here. So, uh, there you go. Just just to end the episode. Bit of a... Bit of his uh, this guy's face. What's his name? Vito or whatever he's called. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Stick around. More episodes to come. Boom!